The bill by Representative Roy Suplessis looked to update the computer system that handles expungements that would have taken out the cost to the individual trying to clear their record. But there were some people who were caught up in the cost. The bill has been the works for years to create a faster and more affordable way for some records to be cleared when they constitutionally become available. There was over $2 million even put aside in the budget for the bill should it pass, but some found issue with the state paying for expungements, and the bill didn't get enough votes to be debated in the waning hours of the session. I'm going to work with all the stakeholders, work with leadership, but I think it's crucial we focus on trying to get it done this year because the money's in the budget, and we don't know what kind of fiscal scenario we'll be in next year. There were several bills looking to tackle criminal justice reform, from Duplessis's other bill to limit juveniles from being put in solitary confinement, to another by a senator that looks to charge more 17-year-olds as adults, and there were several bills looking to increase punishments for some crimes. I understand the reaction. I understand the sense of feeling the need to do something when there's been an uptick in crime in the streets as well as an un uptick in bad behavior within secure care. The bill did not get the two-thirds vote that it needs after the 82nd day of the session, but DePlessis says that he plans to bring it back next year. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.